Hello everyone, this is my son V from vlemon.com and I am back with another tutorial on SQL Server 2014 and in this video we are going to discuss about wire clause how to use wire clause, why to use wire clause so for this video we are only going to discuss on wire clause I have to show lots of things on wire clause so I divided this video in multiple parts and this is the first part of this video uh, not this video on where clause in this video we are going to learn how to use where clause with numbers or numeric values or numeric columns so here is my SSMS how to open simple open windows R and type SSMS and enter connect to your database and execute your queries now what is where clause? where clause is used in SQL Server to filter out your data and how to use? here is the syntax select space star or your columns you want in the output space from space stable name space where space column name on which you want to perform your condition and then space and then condition you can also use where clause inside the insert statement or delete statement but for this video we are only discuss everything related to select command or select clause now if you watched my previous video, in my previous video I used a command to convert total due. I convert total due into a string and in this example I used customer id where customer id equals to 29825 and purchase order number equals to p it's o or 0 I don't know uh, it's O oh, five double two one four five seven eight seven. So we filter the data using where clause. Now how to filter? Uh, we are going to show this. Now to explain you all of you how to use where clause, I created a temporary table. In this temporary table, I have three columns. One is employee ID. Another is employee name and third is salary so just now I created a temporary table and inserted few records and now we are going to use where clause on this table to filter out our data now as per my requirement as per my requirement I have to filter a record for employee ID 5 or let's consider a scenario you have to find a record for employee ID equals to 5 so how to achieve this scenario or how to do this in T SQL simple you have to type select space column list which you want and for this example I want everything from employee table space from your table name currently it is employee then where clause space your column name employee ID because we have to filter based on employee ID and equals to sign equal to 5 so this query is going to return records belongs only to employee ID equals to 5 so here is our output now let's say in this we use equal operator uh, let's assume another scenario in which I have to find every record except employee ID equals to 5 assume employee ID 5 is left for my organization and I want other employee details so simply I write this command select start from employee where employee ID does not equals to 5 so this is sign for does not equal to so you can execute this query 
to retry all the records except employee number 5 see employee 5 is not available so if I am going to execute these both queries so um, the first query is returning only record for employee ID 5 and my second query is returning only those record whose employee ID is not equals to 5 another syntax for not equal to is less than and greater sign you can also use this for not equal so execute this command and output of this two is same so let's check the final execution plan to understand the difference between these two so this is execution plan for my first query and I don't think so there is any difference between this and this so this is exercise for you guys you have to find what is the difference between this and this both are used for not equal to now we are going to discuss about greater than now assume you have a requirement in which you have to find all those employees whose salary is greater than 3149 okay so this is a uh, dummy table this is not a real scenario but let's assume this figure is in pound and our employees belong work in UK and we are paid our employees in pound so this is monthly salary assume so we have to list down all the employees whose salary is greater than 3149 pounds execute this query in this query we use where clause with a greater than sign in this salary if salary is greater than 3149 then retry all those records so employee 3 having salary 3478 is greater than 3149 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, again greater than 3149 1, 2, 1, 3, 4, again greater than 3149 and so on now we use greater than similarly we can use less than in this scenario uh, assume we have to find all those employees having salary less than 3149 so simply execute this query and here is your output in both this example our records having salary 3149 is skipped what if you want to include this record simply use greater than equal to or less than equal to based on your scenario so let's say I have a scenario in which I have to find all the employees name whose salary is greater than and equal to 3149 pounds or 3149 pounds execute this query to find out your result so what we did here nothing here is our normal select clause select star from your table name simple select statement and we add a where clause where and then column name and our condition what is the condition greater than equal to 3149 is our condition similarly we can use less than equal to to find all the employees whose salary is less than 3149 and equals to 3149 and here is the output again same syntax our select statement with from clause and table name and here is the where clause our column name and this is the condition now if you are not able to understand what happened here I created a simple excel file for you guys and I am going to open it ok ranch ok 
So let's consider I have a table with 10 records and in this I execute this command. Let's say select star from table name and assume this is id column so I apply this command id less than 5 so this is first scenario less than 5 in this scenario our all these records appear in our final result similarly in case of greater than if I use this command greater than 5 then all this record must be available in our result set if we use less than equal to so less than equal to then in this scenario all this record is available in our result set plus this equals to similarly applies for greater than if I change this where id is greater than equals to in this scenario greater than and equals to so this is our final output now we are going to use null ok I created a query in this we are querying adventure works sales sales order header table and our condition is check equals to null for salesperson id column so here so what uh, before executing this let's check the data how it looks and here is my salesperson ID and my salesperson ID contains some null records so what do you think it going to be work or not of course is not it is not going to be work why first I execute this no record why you never compare a null value with another null value this applies to almost every coding language and every database are you work if you are working on mysql or oracle or teradata this applies to everything you are not able to compare a null value with another null value similarly you are not able to compare any infinity i hope my spelling is correct of infinity you are not able to compare infinity equals to infinity if you want to use null in your where clause you have to handle null value in a different way here is the syntax for null check again this is my simple select statement with from clause and table name and then we are going to filter our record based on salesperson id where salesperson id is null so if you want to check this condition salesperson id equals to null then you have to write this syntax in this we are checking whether the salesperson id is null or not execute this query and our salesperson ID is null for every record how to check not null condition simply you have to replace is null with is not null again the same query a select statement with from clause on adventure works dot sales dot sales order header table and we applied a where clause on salesperson id with condition is not null execute this query to 
find your treasure so this is our salesperson ID and everywhere is salesperson ID is available now what is remaining nothing so why this is available here okay now exercise for this video if you able to understand everything then you are able easily able to write queries for this scenario now first you have to perform or you have to write all this exercise on adventure box 2014 sales dot order header table if you uh, if this database is not available then I am going to share my blog how to add adventure work to run 14 dot sales dot sales order header table in your SQL Server 2014 database now let's start our exercise first you have to find records where customer ID is 11003 so you have to write a query with equal sign with equal operator and you have to check condition 1103 for answer you can post your answer in the comment of this video now find records where customer ID is not equals to 27621 third find records where order total due is greater than 3756.989 Find records where order total due is less than 50. Fifth, find records where order total due is greater than 3756.9899. I think this is duplicate, so why not remove it? Remove this one. Five and six. Fifth one fine now you have to write query for this two exercise on adventureworks dot production dot product table you have to find products having record sorry reorder point is greater than and equals to 375 in last exercise you have to find products having reorder point is less than and equals to 750 just for your help I am just showing the columns of adventure works royal 14 production dot product you have to apply where close on this column okay now in my next video we are going to cover where clause we are going to use and or and or and and or or in range and between in where clause so our part one is completed thank you for watching and see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends